Because I walk into organizations all the time. I've walked into hundreds of organizations over the last 11 years, interviewed thousands of people, and inevitably I will ask them, what is the purpose of your organization? What is the purpose of your initiative or your program? Like, why do you exist? And inevitably, you will get different answers from everybody. I challenge you to go back to your organization today and ask your folks, why does this organization exist? Um, in a book, Prime to Perform, Lindsay McGregor and Neil Doshi also did the same thing. They interviewed 20,000 people. And they realized that the most important characteristic for creating culture within your organization, for actually motivating people, something that is more important than potential, something that is more important than purpose, is actually play. The second thing we were able to conclude is the closer the motive is to the work itself, the more powerful. Play is the most powerful, then purpose, then potential. Inertia the most destructive, then economic pressure, then emotional pressure. Allowing your people to be curious, to learn, to experiment, is actually more impor important than purpose. Crazy. But I, I, I believe this too. You know, the reason why I work at Deloitte, I actually don't know what, why Deloitte exists. Like, I don't know why. I don't know what our why is. I'm sorry, I, I just don't. But I do know that I like to build cool shit every single day for my clients and, and work with really smart people and, 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 and really build world-class products and services and help them with digital disruption. That's what I care about. And, and for me, it's play. It's, it's the idea of how I can experiment and learn. And, and, and that, maybe that's my perspective from interviewing people and my own. But if you allow your people and give them the tools, the technologies, and the freedom to play, I promise you, you can build a culture of, of experimentation.